Hi, Country Changes. Welcome back to yet another month. Um, this month, we've got something a little bit special and different to what we normally have. And we're going to have a quick chat with Leah Sutherland and Casey Paulson today from the Kudamundra Gundagai Regional Council. And they've just won a really big regional grant to run some events, which I'm really excited and hearing about. And hopefully this will kind of convince you guys to come and explore the region a little bit more at these particular times. So Leah, um, Casey, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Um, first up, can you just each tell us a little bit about what your roles are at Council? Yep, so I'm Leah Sutherland. I'm Tourism and Economic Development Officer at Kudamundra. And, and yep, uh, so I'm Tourism and Economic Development and I'm our Gundagai based officer. So Leah yep. and I do the same roles, but, um, but we're just based in um, the two different regions. So great little team. Yeah, awesome. So obviously you're a combined council. Just tell me a little bit first up for people who might not be familiar with um, the region the what each of you offer in terms of your landscapes opportunities just to sort of dif differentiate the two yeah so Gunnaga itself we're um very beautifully placed right on the Murrumbidgee River um it's we're, we're very very lucky sort of rolling hills yeah. um this summer year it's beautiful nice and green obviously frosty cold mornings but the days have been beautiful um but yeah we're just a little small little town um right sort of smack bang in between Sydney and Melbourne um, and yeah, very, very small town, but um, we have everything that you need. So yeah. yeah. And then Kudamundra, uh, <laughs> obviously we're a village council. So Kudamundra is one of the oldest towns in New South Wales, which is nice. Um, very friendly, beautiful, like Casey said, we just, we've got a beautiful um, area. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're lucky. Kuda's, yeah. Kuda's really great. It's a little bit bigger than Gundagai. Yeah. Um, big like wheat producers, things like that. Um, but like both Kudamundra and Gundagai have very big farming areas yeah. as well too. So we're, um, we're quite diverse, which is good. Um, there's something for everyone, which is always a winner. Yeah. And so just in relation to uh, Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, how far are each of you? Yeah, so from Gundagai, um, Sydney's about four and a half hours, Melbourne's about five, um, and then Canberra's only like two hours down the highway. So yeah, and we're basically hours. the same in yeah. Cooter. Yeah, so. and then Walker, and then only, Walker yeah. is only an hour away, which yeah. is yeah. big. Yeah, perfect. And that's one thing that we do love about the Riverina. It's very much on the route to many locations, so you can yes. access any of, you know, go to Sydney for the weekend and Melbourne or Canberra to get your little <laughs> footy fix or your shopping fix, so... That's yeah. <laughs> so let's dive into this um these amazing events that you've got coming up tell me about the grant you received and I guess the opportunities that's opened up for your your regional council yeah so we applied for the funding through the department of New South yeah Wales. department yeah. of New South Wales early this year um through transport New South Wales um we're really just holding out to hopefully you know get um, get some events back in town. Um, so we sort of went to extremes and tried to apply for as much money as we possibly could. Um, and then, yeah, we found out mid-year that we were successful um, in that um, New South Wales Government Open Streets program. Um, so some some big money there, which is great um, yeah. to really let us let loose a little bit um, <laughs> and get some um, local events happening. So, yeah. All right, so tell me, what events are you going to kick off with as part of, I, I know you had an umbrella little casing. Yes. Yes. Starry Nights Festival. So it's a Starry Nights Festival and incorporates four events. So we've got the Waddle Time Fair in Cootamundra, which was an old event but that we're bringing back. Um, the inaugural Festival of Gundagai in Gundagai, which has never been done before, so that's really exciting. Then we have two Christmas events Um one in each town where we've got close off the main street, we have entertainment. Yeah. Um, and it's a real community, shop local um, focused events. Yeah. Um, the other two festivals, they're, they're community based and local based as well. Yeah. Um, it's really just, yeah, those two events we've got coming up in September yeah. are really about showcasing the town and we're trying to keep our yeah. supplies as local as possible as well um, and really just making sure that everyone within the town feels involved. Yeah. Um, so that's 
and That's showcase our wonderful area to yeah, everybody. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. It's going to be a nice time of year, which will be beautiful. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> not too hot, not too cold. Um, so, yeah, we're really excited. So what can people who might want to come visit um, during that festival period, what can they expect from the festival and the community at that time? Yeah, well, I guess in Cooter, yeah. to a degree, it'll be really nice time to just come for a drive. We'll have all the canola out yeah, and everything, yeah. which will be beautiful. That's a perfect time of year. And the wash, well, that's the water time mm-hmm. there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be we'll be very um, flary for a yeah. while there. Um, but we've got the um, Country Makers Market coming along. So there we're going to have local markets and things like that. Um, kids entertainment. We've got live music. It's just really trying to encompass everyone um, to get in and get involved. So it's really going to be awesome. We're hoping, um, you know, to get just a bit of flair back into the town. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I know COVID sort of put a dampener on a lot of um, events across the country, not just in regional areas. So it'll be great to have something like this come back and fire. So I don't know if it is possible to put into words, but... What do events like this for the community actually do? What does it mean to a local community, whether or not you're a newcomer or someone who, you know, was born and raised in region? To someone who's from the cities, what do you think are the major differentiations between, say, a city event versus a community regional event like this? What can they expect? Well, I guess too, like just these community events, as I mentioned before, Kuda and Gunninga are both very small communities. You walk past the street, you expect someone to say hello, give you a smile, give you a wave. And you you sort of do just, you know, in passing, sort of see them in passing, say good day. These community events really give you an opportunity to connect with those people um, and make sure that you're going into the businesses, you know, that are local um, and saying hello to them and checking in on everyone and it's really just connect, creating, I should say, yeah. um, sort of a network um, to really get all walks of life in together. Um, and they're really just great events. Yeah. I mean, Festival of Gunnigar will be the first time that we do that, but our Christmas events always are so amazing. It really yeah. pushes that shop local thing. Um, you just get to sort of have those connections. It's really like a yeah. big family Christmas party. Um, yeah. at the end of the day and that's what we want we want yeah. people to do and that especially with the christmas parties because we have the local dance groups mm-hmm. and the local singers come out um, it's a chance for the grandparents to come along and have watched what their grandkids are learning at dancing or singing yeah. um, which is always great and they actually stop and go into the shops it's mm-hmm. it's relaxed it gives you the time to actually dwell in the main street yeah so they're fantastic Lots yep. of fun. You'll have to come down. <laughs> Look, I, I definitely, I do love, um, I go to a number of the festivals, although, mind you, since COVID, it's probably been a little bit more, I uh, haven't done them pre-COVID, so it'd be nice to get to a few more festivals this year. And yeah. um, it, It's also probably a great opportunity, I'm guessing, for people who are out of town um, mm-hmm. to come and experience the region so they can do a bit of a weekend of it. Mm-hmm. Get some people, the locals who are there, ask questions because yeah. that's really important integration yes. aspect and also yeah. decide where to live. Um, yeah. So <laughs> exactly. is that what I recommend? Yeah, most yeah. definitely. And, like, as I said, it, we, as locals, yes, you walk past someone, you know that they're from Gundagar, they're from yeah. Kutamandra, but really, in these small towns, you just walk past someone and say g'day. And if they're gonna, they're gonna yeah. come up and ask you. You want to really showcase that, yeah, we're a really welcoming town. Um, so I guess it's yeah, just making sure that if you are interested in, you know, moving, um, moving regionally, yeah. making that country change, that you sort of do come and see the best of the best. Yeah. So that yeah. you can really see what our offerings are. Um, you know, we're a great place to visit all year round, but when you really get to see the community in action, um, you really get a idea of what what you're what you're going to be welcomed into and what yeah, the community yeah. looks like. Um, and honestly, that time of year for us, we sort of move into our peak event period with um, different things like our shows and our yeah, rodeos races and, and things yeah. like that. So. Um, you know, we would love everyone to come to the festival, but there's going to be ample opportunity over the coming months to really 
to really check out our town. Um, so if it was something that you just popped in and thought, I'll just try before I buy, um, and then you'll really get a taste of what the town town yeah. does. And um, it's just it's really exciting. We're we're really keen on it. Obviously, it's a stressful time, and <laughs> we're we're trying to get all of our ducks in a row and um, please as many people as we can. Um, but we're really keen to put something on great yeah. for the community. Yeah, awesome. And I'm just going to share here as well. If people want to learn more about the Kudamundra Gunagai Regional Council area, you can head to our website under our places, yeah. um, go to their page. And here's a great um, sort of overview of the towns and villages that uh, you know encompass that regional area. Um, uh, some contact information if you want to reach out to Casey. And just a bit more information about population, housing, um, transport, yeah. accessibility, that sort of stuff, and some blogs and videos. Um, so definitely check that out. And, guys, just finally, just to give us a little bit more information about where people, A, the dates again, mm -hmm. and where people can go to to get more information about the festivals. So the Kudamundra dates, the Waddle Town Festival is the 7th of September, Saturday 7th of September, and it will be in Albert Park, which is a beautiful part. Mm -hmm. The Christmas is the 16th of December, and it is a main street, um, Parker Street. I don't know if you know, our main street is lit up with fairy lights at night. It's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. So it, um, it just sparkles. So our Christmas event is actually called Sparkling Streets, streets yeah. Christmas thing. I, um, Christmas party, so um, and it's the 16th of December. Yeah, um, yeah. information will be on our Kudamundra Gundagai Regional Council website. Mm -hmm. we'll also um, on our um, yeah. visit Kuda and visit Gundagai website, yeah, as well. and then our social media yeah. as well. There's yeah. events on our social media, yeah, and, yours, and then um, Festival of Gundagai will be Friday the 20th of September, yeah. so it'll run from about four o'clock through till eight, nine o'clock at night. So we're sort of going for the twilight vibe. Um, and then our Christmas event will sort of be early December. We haven't settled on a date completely yet, um, but it will be um, in Sheridan Street. So both of our events will incorporate Sheridan Street and Carberry Park, um, which is right down from the bottom end of the street. Um, but yeah, that's sort of sort of where yeah. we're sitting at the moment. Where um, yeah, we're just we're really excited to sort of see them happen. It'll be yeah. a good day when they're done, and then <laughs> we know we've done a good yeah. job. <laughs> No, like, and the team are excited for them to happen too. Yeah. The feedback's been fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. they're really excited. So. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Well, congratulations on receiving that grant and thank you so much for your time. We'll put all of that information, dates, locations, links, etc. Um, the information blurb on, blurb on the post and in the video. Um, but thank you both for um, joining us today and I guess giving us the update. We look forward to that event. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.